topic of this video is determining whether a function is one-to-one. -one. We've already looked at mappings, also called arrow diagrams, and collections of ordered pairs. Now we turn our attention to graphs. We'll use the same approach as before. We'll remind ourselves how to determine if a graph is a function. Then we will learn the additional property of determining whether a function graph happens to also be one-to-one. -one. Recall that any function passes the vertical line test. If a function also passes the horizontal line test, then it is a one-to-one -one function. Let's look at three graphs and limit ourselves to determining whether they are functions or not by applying the vertical line test. All right, here's our first graph. It is a circle. Can a vertical line be drawn so that it intersects this circle at more than one point? The answer is yes. And for that reason, this relation, the circle, is not a function. All right, let's look at our next graph. Can this particular graph be intersected by a vertical line at more than one point? The answer is no. No matter how many times I try to draw a vertical line to intersect this particular graph, it is only intersecting this blue curve at exactly one location. And for that reason, this is a function. Okay, third picture. I'll draw a vertical line that intersects it once. I'll draw a vertical line that intersects it once. I'll draw a vertical line that intersects it once. I'll draw a vertical line over here, which intersects it not at all. Oops, I guess I can't do that with my, uh, my grid here. Now well, that's about as close as I can get. Okay, so the idea here is uh, if you cannot find a line that intersects it at more than one point, then it is a function. So this second graph is a function. This third graph is a function. Okay, now let's apply the new definition, the new mathematical concept, one-to-one. -one. The definition is here. If every horizontal line intersects the graph of a function f in at most one point, then it passes the horizontal line test, and f is one-to-one. -one. Now, the other way that you can phrase this definition would be to say, if you can find a horizontal line that intersects the graph of a function at more than one point, then it fails the horizontal line test, and it is not one-to-one. So let's take a look at the two graphs that are functions and see if we can apply this definition. Let's start with the third graph. We know that this is a function, but is it a one-to-one -one function? The answer is no. I can draw a horizontal line that intersects it at more than one point. Specifically, in this case, it intersects it at two points. For that reason, it's a function, but it is not a one-to-one -one function. However, when I turn my attention to the middle graph, we know it's a function, but is it a one-to-one -one function? The answer is yes, because when I draw a horizontal line, that horizontal line intersects the blue curve at only one point. And no matter how many times I draw a horizontal line, each one is going to intersect that blue curve in at most one point. And for that reason, it is not only a function, it is also a one-to-one -one function. All right, there's one more thing I'd like to share, which is in this blue box here. If the graph of a continuous function is always increasing or always decreasing, then it is a one-to-one -one function. If a continuous function is one-to-one, -one, then it is either always increasing or always decreasing. So let's take a look one more time at the second and the third graph here. The second graph, as we travel from left to right, is always increasing. Therefore, it is a one-to-one -one function. However, the third graph here is decreasing in the beginning, and then it switches to increasing afterwards. And for that reason, it is not a one-to-one -one 